Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use Google Drive. If you know what Google Drive is, this is going to be a refresher course for you. And if you do not know Google Drive, then it's going to be a revelation. So basically, Google Drive is a place online on Google servers where you can upload and uh, edit sometimes your documents. And also you can store your documents and uh, send it for collaboration with your friends. So Google Drive is a very handy tool provided by Google for uh, doing this kind of work. So to go to the Google Drive page, all you've got to do is enter in your uh, browser address bar https colon double slash double slash www.google.com slash drive just leave out this slash at the end and when you hit enter on it you'll find that the google drive page appears so before we go to the insights of the google drive let me take you uh, to the concept of the google drive what it does uh, actually, it is mentioned in the first page, the, uh, the page that we are looking at right now. Uh, and if you just click on the arrow down here, you will see whatever Google Drive can do for you. So, for example, you can store any files. The important thing is to understand that you get 15 GB of free Google space. So, you can store photos, stories, designs, blah, blah, everything. And if you see over here, you can find that uh, all kind of documents that you can store on the Google Drive. Basically, it's limitless. Moving further down. This is another important stuff on Google Drive. That if you upload anything on, let's just say, your mobile and you want to access it on your PC or you want to access it on your uh, tablet you can do it using the same Google Drive you can share your files and folders with your friends or your family and you can also put certain kind of controls on them for example uh, you can choose whether they are able to edit it or whether they are able to comment on it or something now uh, before we go to the Google Drive let me show you one more option here uh, for example if the 15 GB free space that is mentioned here is not sufficient for you, you can go to the pricing uh, hyperlink and click on the pricing hyperlink. And here you would find that there are further options like 100 GB for $1.99 per month or 1 TB or 10 TB. You can pick up your choice of the plan if you feel that your data storage needs are going to be much higher than the 15 GB free upgrade. So with each account that I make, I get 15 GB of, a, of the drive space free. But basically you would work with only one or two accounts. So that, that still is quite helpful. So I will just enter my email ID and password and log into the Google Drive. As you can see, there are a lot of stuff in here so basically this is the place where you can click on google drive and you're taken back to the home page which is this one the one that you're seeing and then you can search for multiple documents here um, the documents that you're going to store in future it's very easy to search using this functionality and we'll leave this part off and we'll just have a look at the left hand side panel so basically whatever folder you create goes below the my drive so if i just click on the my drive uh, basically i'm inside the my drive because it's kind of in the bold and i go to the center panel and i say new folder and inside the new folder what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder called as test folder Okay, so test folder is created and as you can see on the right hand side the activity that I have done is being recorded by the Google Drive. 
this is very important to track whatever is happening to your document so for example if you share this folder to one of your friends and they make a change the changes are recorded here and you can always see what has been changed now I'll double click on the test folder and now you can see that in the center there's something called as drop files here so basically this is a place where you can add files to your folder so to add it you can either press the new button here where you can still create subfolders or you can do a file upload so we do a file upload <coughs> And for example, this is my download folder. <coughs> and I choose this file. So now it is uploaded uh, this document onto my test folder. And also if I click on this document, you can see the history has been changing. You uploaded an item here with this name. So this is the first step of uh, using the Google Drive. Now, if, on, if I want to do further set of operations, all I need to do is right click on my laptop or on, my, uh, or on the mouse that I'm using and I'll see this menu. So there are a lot of things here. So you can see the preview of the document or you can associate a an app with the document uh, for example the uh, the file that probably does not have a viewer inside the Google document or inside the Google Drive it will open up an external uh, a viewer and you will you will be able to view this file in that viewer then you can share this document we are going to talk in much detail about it then you get the shareable link that means a direct link to this file you can move this between folders add a star that means mark this as your favorite and then rename this file so one interesting thing about renaming is if you click on it and let's say I call it new change the name and I press OK here let's wait for some time and I click on this once again um, okay so there should have been a change here I don't know why it's not happening but uh, anything that you do on this file will be recorded in this activity so now what else you can do you can manage versions here so if you upload this document once again with some changes both the documents are stored on the Google Drive without any overriding and these versions I think are stored for 30 days so you can keep a file for 30 days without you know, Google deleting it completely and then you can make a copy of this if you want to make a change or download it and finally remove it basically these are not very difficult to understand let's start with the share part of it so as before that as you can see these options are quite similar to what we have here so either you can use the same button here or do a right click and uh, use the same options um, now if we go to the start now if you go to the share you can enter a name preferably a gmail id which will uh, enable a person to log in to the google drive of their own and then access the file that you have shared with them so you just gonna, uh, can write some some name here and uh, an email can be sent to them where they can get the link and whatever op operations you have allowed them to do they will be able to do it or you can go to the get shareable link so as you can see it's not easy to tell what are the links here 
you will have to hover it on to understand what are the links so if I click on the get shareable link you can see that there's a link that has been generated by the Google document and there's a notification that has come at the bottom which was just here the link sharing is on and again as always you can write people uh, people who are going to access it their names or Gmail uh, or some kind of email IDs and uh, they can access and uh, do various operations on the document the good thing about this is that you can control what they are doing so for example if you want those users to edit they can edit the document then you just choose this option or if they can view or comment choose any of the option when you are done with it you can just press the done or you can go to the advanced see this is again a link not a text so basically you can share your link or via Gmail or on Google Plus on Facebook or on Twitter and also you can determine what any person who has the access to the link can do so for example if I click on the change uh, link over here I'm taken to another window where I can uh, choose one of the options so if I just make it on and uh, make it public then I'm sharing it to the world that means anybody can access this link and once I do that I can set up what people can do with this link so for example they can either edit it or can comment on it or just view if I choose this option where it says anyone with the link is able to view it that means this uh, uh, link can be sent to certain folks and who will not publish it to the web that means uh, this link can be accessed by anybody and there's no sign in required and again you can set up the permissions on the document and the final option if you make it off then it is shared with the specific people only once you save it the link will be generated and then the permissions would be set you can invite the people here and you can not notify them uh, add some kind of message to the uh, notification that they can see in their email IDs and if you want to send a copy of the link to yourself so that you do not have to come to the uh, drive again and again you can send a copy of uh, the link to yourself also you can do something you can prevent editors from changing access and adding new people so if you have given somebody an option to edit the document they cannot transfer your the ownership of the document to another set of people just uh, clicking on this checkbox will prevent that and if you do not want to allow anybody to download print or copy then you can click on these options so basically this shows a lot of uh, options that are available to you as a viewer to work on a document collaboratively. It's very handy when you're working in a, uh, across the geographies or across you know cities and uh, you want to collaborate on certain specific features or certain documents that you do not have ready access to the best way is to go through the Google Drive so once you have done this all you can uh, do is to press send and the document will be sent to the specific persons all right so in the left hand side if you just see there's something called as backups so there are a lot of services these days which offer a backup of their data onto the Google Drive so for example whatsapp whatsapp has a feature where you can take the backups and it will be uploaded to the Google Drive and those backups will be available in this folder 
right now there's nothing so nothing is being shown if you go back to the test folder you can see the option here so it says either we can use the list view or we can use a grid view so this is the list view and the list view has a lot of information if I just close this then it tells me who is the owner when did I last modify it what is the file size and how and double click on it will take me to the edit and if I have the grid view I can see it as a part of the grid so basically these are all things that I can do with the Google Drive it's a very handy tool and uh, if I'm not satisfied with the uh, amount of space I'm getting I can always upgrade it to the higher options as I showed you uh, in the starting of the video also you can get a drive for your PC that means you can get a downloadable software which you can utilize to upload the document directly from your PC and you you will probably never have to come to this uh, web folder or the website and you can uh, back up all your data right from the PC itself so I guess that's it uh, I hope you find uh, you found the uh, tutorial quite helpful and do let me know if there are any questions one small thing before we go there's a there's a gear icon over here and uh, it has something called a settings so if you just click on the settings you can find out how much bytes you have used uh, there's something you can upload files and you can use it for offline usage so you do not have to uh, come back to this document and then what is the viewing density you're going to use comfortable cozy or compact and finally automatically put your Google photos into a folder in my drive you can also decide on the notifications so if you want any notifications for example somebody has changed something and you want to be notified of that you can click on this and it will notify it on the device that you're working on and if there's any app that are using the drive you can manage them by using this so all of the Google documents Google services can use the Google Drive but if you add WhatsApp or something extra it will also come in and you can take it out and remove or add new services right from this place so I hope I was able to uh, some of the concepts of the Google Drive it's a very vast uh, field and once you start using it you'll understand the beauty of this feature thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel thank you